Hello Interface users, this is Seb, and today I'm going to present you how to use the Nexmosphere sensors and actuators using the sample we published on our marketplace. Before we start, just make sure that if you have the board with you, make sure it is connected to your machine and you have the driver which has been properly installed. You should see something like this on your machine, a prolific USB to serial, and whatever the number is, uh, you should be able to use it directly through the sample in the marketplace. So once this is done, in your composer, download the sample in the marketplace, just run in play mode and see how it goes. So we will start the configuration now, which hopefully should be pretty automatic. We try to detect the port automatically based on this name, Prolific. It found the COM11 on my machine. Let's validate that. We will connect to it. Port COM has been open. Looks good. We can start playing with that. Today with me, I have the DMXN04 board, which is the one here on the right side. Later, we will add the XN03 and maybe XN02 in the next versions of the sample, depending on the demo board you may have uh, got from Nexmosphere. So let's select the number four, which is the one we have here. So let's go through the different elements that we have on this board. Buttons on the left, touch button, pickup sensors, etc. So in this scene, we will try to have a look first at the sensors. So let me go on the board and click on one of the buttons, like this one. We should get a green feedback on the top left button. If I click on the second one on the board, the second one gets lightened, which means we have some triggers, some command received when we are using these buttons. Based on these triggers, you could display a video, change the scene, whatever interface action you want to do based on that. So that's for the physical buttons. We can do the same with the touch button here. We get a feedback. Same thing with this pickup sensor. Imagine you have some products like an anti-theft uh, system in the retail store. If you pick up the store, we get a trigger. It's red right now because I have it in my hand. If I put it back, it goes back to green. The object has been placed back on its location. Next sensors that we have on the right hand side, the distance sensor. So go up, three, two, three, four, five. As soon as I put my hand closer to the sensor, the figure will increase. And we could switch to the row mode to get something more accurate, depending on what exactly you want to do with this value. Like person detection, maybe. When someone is below a certain value, then change the scene and display a message, touch the screen to start, something like that. The last sensors we have are the two RFID pickups. So if I take object number one, we have tag one picked up written on the screen. If I put it back, tag one was placed back. So again, two scenarios here, both the lift and learn. If I pick up number two, I have this trigger. Based on that, I could change a video, display some information about this specific product number two that I have in my hands. The second scenario would be the opposite. We have with one single RFID reader, when you place the tag back, you could trigger something to happen on the screen. So these are all the sensors on distance, buttons, RFID pickup. We have one actuator, actually two here. These little buttons, you can have some lights on them. So if I go back on the touch screen and click on the one here, you see the button that gets some light. I can turn it on and off. Same thing with number two, and you could have them blinking. That's the first actuator. The second one would be here, the LED light strips, this one here. So let's click on number six and open the light panel. Again, this is a demo experience to show you how it works. As soon as you're going to build a real experience, you will probably decide to use just a few commands among all the possibilities that you have here available with this Nextmosphere interface set that we released to control these sensors and actuators. So let's start with a simple command. We go with the single ramp, where we are going to assign one single solid color to the whole ramp. Uh, let's go with the red, the green. The green should be pretty visible on the screen. So I can play with this slider here and reduce the intensity or increase it to its maximum value, something like that. And you could change the duration. So if I want 
the color to change in a longer way between the green and the red, we can have a smooth transition between the two colors. On the opposite, if I reduce this time ramp and now go back to blue, drop, it's instant. These are pretty nice, easy to turn the light off, on, off, on. So you can play with these actions depending on what's going on in your experience. Uh, we have two more modes, pulse and wave. So let's have a look and do some pulse maybe between blue and white. And we should have, so let me, increase the ramp here. This is infinite, so we should get infinite pulses between white and blue. This is pretty fast. Let me try to slow this down a little bit. So now we have a slower pulse between blue and white. Let's try maybe with two different colors, like, like red and green. Send command. Now we have the lights blinking, pulsing between these two uh, colors. The wave is yet another action, and I will let you have a look in the sample. You have lots of options. You can change the animation direction by clicking here, right, left. Let's go with outwards, maybe. Uh, symmetrical wave, asymmetrical wave, lots of options. If you want to learn more about that, just click on the info button here, and you will access uh, the full uh, documentation. You can browse the pages and understand a bit more about the comments themselves. So and let's go with maybe white and red. Now you can see the lights blinking outwards pretty fast between the two colors we have selected as color one, color two, and doing a wave in this direction. I can change that to left, for example. Now you can see the red LEDs are going from the right-hand side here to the left-hand side with a nice uh, animation. That's it for today. If you have any questions, please look at the Help Center article about Nextmosphere or contact us directly on our support platform or community.